In today's video, we're going to talk about black and white fine art photography using long exposures, particularly for architecture. And as you can see in the background, I've come to Media City in Manchester. So the first thing we're going to do is have a walk around and scout some locations, figure out where I need to be to get the best compositions. So let's have a walk down and uh, see what we can find. So I've had a good look around and I'm really excited. There's lots of photo opportunities. The weather's improving slightly as well. It looks like some brighter weather going to come in and uh, sunsets at eight o'clock tonight. It's currently about five, so I've got plenty of time on my hands. And that's one thing I would say, get to your locations early, get a good look round, and then when the light's right, you know exactly where to be. Now, the other thing, so the locations I'm going to try and shoot is the skyline behind me. There is a couple of bridges I want to shoot. There's the Millennium Bridge and there's another footbridge. Now, the uh, Millennium Bridge has got a nice, I think it's a hotel, which has got all this bronze glass on it. So I'll do my shot facing that way. It's got some lovely curved arches, which will create some great leading lines. So that's what I'm thinking about for the composition of that. The other bridge, let me just turn my camera and you should be able to see it up river here. Now that's just the Media City footbridge. And it's got some nice, uh, I think that the, the lines that support the bridge it's a suspension type bridge and I'll probably play around with doing something closer in on that trying to use those lines and a very simple minimalist type composition now the other things I want to photograph is the Imperial War Museum and that's another thing I'm going to do it from this location I'm also going to do it from the other side of the quay from the other dock because I think it looks quite good across the water so there's a couple of things I'm waiting for now. It's one is for it to go a little bit darker, a bit more towards twilight, and then I'll get maybe some of uh, the buildings will have more lights on and they'll create more contrast. And, and the other thing I'm going to do is I just want to go back and really suss out my location for the Lowry building. I'm going to sit down, have a cup of coffee, just let my brain uh, stew over it, my subconscious work on it. You know, sometimes you need to just let things go for a little bit and come back to them and it'll become clear what you need to do and you'll find that best angle. So before I go and get my cup of coffee, get the grey cells to work, let's just talk about equipment we're going to use. So I'm going to use my Sony a7R5. I'm going to set that up on a tripod because we're doing long exposures, so you need a sturdy tripod for that. And I'm going to use the Firecrest ND filters. I have them in 3, 6 and 10 stop. I'll figure out which one I need when I calculate my exposure, but I'll put the details up with the photos um, when I show them to you at the end. If you haven't seen my review of the Format High Tech Filters, I'll leave a link to that up here. Now just let me give you a couple of tips on composition and why I'm thinking of photographing the buildings I am. Things you're looking for are shapes, textures, depth and contrast. And this Imperial War Museum behind me is a great example. It's got a textured roof. It's got lots of interesting shapes and curves. And because I'm going to convert this to black and white, that's what I'm looking for. Things that will have different shades of them. So I'm already envisaging in my head which bits are going to be dark and which bits are going to be light and what textures I want to bring out. The overriding thing I would say when you're thinking about your composition, just keep it simple. Use the basic rules, rule of thirds, leading lines, those sort of things. But also think about what do I need in this photo? And particularly, would this photo look better if I left something out? I've chosen this location because um, I think this is probably what the architect had in mind when he designed this building, that you would look at it head on and see all these interesting shapes and curves. Set my camera up right on the centre line of this paving. So we've got the arrow leading you right into the frame. My exposure is about five minutes. I'm at F8 and ISO 100. I've just got set up to do uh, one of my first shots of the Imperial War Museum. Now, for any of you who are not familiar, we're doing long exposures with ND filters and how to calculate exposure time. And you need to check out this video as well where I go through uh, using a long exposure calculator and uh, exactly how to work out what bulb timer setting you should use. So my normal exposure time would be around a 30th of a second at F8 and ISO 100, and that's without any ND filters fitted. And with them fitted, I'm using 13 stops because I want an exposure time of close to five minutes. And actually that's what I'm exposing for five minutes, 20 seconds. 
also got a circular polarizer filter fitted just to try and bring out a bit more contrast in the clouds, take away any glare from uh, uh, reflections on the water and things like that. So here's a little bonus tip for you. If you do find it is windy and you're worried about your camera or your tripod not being stable in the wind, you can do what I've done here, which is um, hang your camera bag. I just use a carabiner, use one of the handles, and I, uh, that way I can hang my camera bag from the tripod. It's a lot of extra weight there, so that keeps it nice and stable. Well, I'm coming to the end of my photo shoot in Media City, and uh, I'm just doing this last long exposure of the skyline behind me. Just let me summarize a few key points. I think the main thing is have a good walk around first. Give yourself plenty of time, look for locations and possible compositions. If you're not sure about one, leave it, come back to it later and you'll see a new one. That's exactly what happened to me when I went back to look at the Lowry. I found another position to take the shot from. Now, one final thing I should share with you, particularly because it's kind of happened to me tonight, is just be very aware of what's going on in the environment around you. There's been a couple of lads flying around on a scooter tonight, and I don't think they've been doing any harm. I don't think they've been stealing bags or anything. But they've certainly been going pretty fast, so there's a strong chance they might knock your expensive camera equipment over, even if they don't steal your camera bag. So do take some care when you're doing this. Make sure that you uh, stand close to your tripod and uh, keep yourself out of harm's way. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found those tips useful. If you do want to share your own photos, you can do so in the Nifty 50 Photographers Facebook group. I'll leave a link to that in the description. You can also put them in the community tab as well on uh, YouTube. And in the meantime, go out and have some fun. It's well worth trying long exposures. You get some great results. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.